Welcome back to one more amazing class. I am Part Dauda and this video is for class 8 science. Today we are going to learn about friction in an animated video. For the detailed videos, you may click on the description below. Let's get started. Let's begin with the introduction of this chapter. This is a pool table. When the ball is hit, it moves to a certain distance and slowly comes to a halt. How and why does this happen? Let's start the lesson and find answers to such questions. At the end of this chapter, you will be able to define friction, illustrate smooth and rough surfaces, describe the types of friction, discuss advantages and disadvantages of friction, and illustrate how to reduce and increase the friction. So let's begin. Let's take an example from daily life. While moving on a bicycle on the road, you pedal the bicycle and it keeps on moving on and on. When you stop pedaling, the bicycle slows down and gradually comes to a stop. Why does this happen? This is actually happens because of friction. Friction is a force that is created whenever two surfaces move or try to move across each other. Friction always opposes the motion or attempted motion of one surface across another surface. And this resists the motion of a body while moving on a surface. Friction is dependent on texture of both surfaces Friction is also dependent on the amount of contact pushing the two surfaces together. A simple answer to this is that while in motion, the tires of the bicycle are rubbing against the surface of the road. When two surfaces rub on one another, the force comes into the play and this force acts in the direction opposite to the direction of motion. Thus, it slows down the motion and finally brings the moving object to a stop. In a figure, the ball is rolled on a smooth surface and another similar ball is on rough surface. As you see here that both the ball starts rolling on a different surfaces at the same time, but one covers more distance than the other. The ball which is rolling on the smooth surface travels a larger distance than the ball rolling on the rough surface. This shows that the rough surface offers more friction than the smooth surfaces for the same pair of contact forces. This example also proves that friction depends on the texture of contact surfaces. It is an interesting thing to learn that friction depends on the amount of contact as well. How? Let us find out. Here, a man is trying to push a heavy box but the box is not moving. Do you have any idea why this happens? Well, when the box is pushed, the bottom of the box and the floor rub one another and friction comes into the play, which resists the motion. The force from friction is more than the push force being exerted by the man. The box will move only when a greater force than the force of friction is applied. Once the box starts sliding, you may find it easier to move the box already. This example proves that the friction depends on the amount of contact force pushing the two surfaces together. Now we can easily define force of friction. The force of friction is a force which opposes the motion of a body in contact with the surface of another body it acts on both the surfaces. Some surfaces are smooth and some are rough. Some are less rough and some are more rough. Even a smooth surface has some irregularities and roughness on it. For example, when we try to move one sandpaper over the other, the movement is not smooth. That means there is friction due to the interlocking of rough surfaces. But when we try to move one plain paper over the other, 
the movement is smooth as compared to the sandpaper. Thus, the roughness of sandpaper is more than that of the plain paper. So, we can say that friction is produced due to the roughness of the surfaces. Depending on the roughness of surfaces, the value of frictional force can be more or less. So now we shall move towards the second part of our chapter that is the types of friction. So we will be able to understand the types of friction, advantages and disadvantages of friction followed by the ways to reduce and increase friction. So let's begin. Frictional force are of total four types, static friction, sliding friction, rolling friction and fluid friction. Consider a ball is lying on a ground. The type of friction which is acting between the ball and the ground surface is an example of static friction. The object is not able to move right now. So when no actual movement is taking place, that is known as the static friction. Force of the static friction is equal to the applied force from the body. Static friction ends with the beginning of the sliding of the object at rest. The frictional force present when one object moves slowly or slides over another body is known as sliding friction. Once our body slides, the sliding friction is reduced a little. It is less than the static friction. In sliding friction, the force of sliding friction is equal to the constant pull force. You must have seen attaches and the other pieces of luggage fitted with rollers, which can be pulled by a child as well. So why is it so? Let us find out. The rollers reduce friction and roll on the objects on rollers. It is always easier to roll than to slide our body over another. That is the reason that it is convenient to pull the luggages fitted with rollers. The force of friction between the rollers on a body and the surface is called rolling friction. The rolling friction is much less than the sliding friction. Since the rolling friction is smaller than the sliding friction, sliding is replaced in most machines by rolling, by the use of ball bearings. Common examples are the use of ball bearings between hubs and the axles of ceiling fans and bicycles. So the next friction is fluid friction. It is not only the ground which offers the force of friction, but also the surfaces like water and air exerts frictional force. The common name of gases and liquids is fluids. Let us look at some examples of fluid friction. The streamlined shape of fishes helps them in reducing the force of friction between their body and the water. Boats and ships are having narrow in the front and sloping on sides. This is known as streamlined shape. Streamlined shape reduces friction from fluid through which those objects move. Water offers friction to the sailing ship. On a clear night sky, you may have seen some shooting stars. Well, those are not the stars, those are actually the meteors. When the meteors comes into the contact of our atmosphere, it burns with a tail which we consider as the shooting star. This happens because of the fluid friction. The aeroplanes flying in the sky also faces this fluid friction. The jets and the supersonic planes are facing a higher amount of friction due to their fast speed. They get often heated due to the friction force and hence they need to be insulated from inside so that the passengers do not feel the discomfort. It should be noted that the thinner the medium, less is the force of friction and denser the medium, more is the force of friction. Friction is both good and bad. 
We are able to walk because of friction prevents us from slipping. When we push the ground with our foot, the friction provides a forward reaction to a push and pushes us forward. We are able to write because there is friction between the tip of the pencil and the paper. Lighting the matchstick is another use of friction. Briefly speaking, when we rub a matchstick against the rough side of the matchbox, the friction between the head of the matchstick and the side of the matchbox produces heat. When we step on a greasy or oily surface, our foot slips because friction gets reduced due to the smoothness of the grease or oil. Friction reduces the efficiency of machines. Some of the forces applied to run a machine gets lost in overcoming the friction between its moving parts. When the moving parts of a machine drop together, a lot of heat is produced due to friction between them. This damages the machine and there are many moving parts in the machine which rub against each other constantly. Due to friction, the rubbing parts of a machine wear out gradually. The tires of a vehicle wear and tear due to friction. Friction can be removed by following methods. By polishing or using powder. We can smooth the rough surface by polishing or by using powder. Due to the smoothness, the friction is reduced from the surfaces. By using ball bearings. Ball bearings are a hollow circular device containing small metal balls, which is fitted around the moving part of a machine, like an axle. The ball bearings reduce friction by converting sliding friction into rolling friction, by using rollers and wheels. Many heavy objects like big suitcases are provided with small wheels called rollers to reduce friction. By streamlining, the bodies of cars, aeroplanes and even rockets are streamlined to reduce the air friction. The bodies of boats and ships are also streamlined to reduce the friction of water. Let us summarize what we have learned. Friction is the force which resists the motion of a body while moving on a surface. Force of friction is a force which opposes the motion of a body in contact with the surface of another body. Force of friction depends on texture of surface and amount of contact force. Sliding friction is less than the static friction. Rolling friction is less than even sliding friction. Boats and ships while moving through water come across force of friction from water and aeroplanes and spaceships from air. Force of friction results in wear and tear of surfaces in contact and hence it generates heat. Friction is reduced through smoothing of surfaces, use of rollers, wall and cylindrical bearings, lubrication of parts in motion and streamlined shape of vehicles. For more such interesting and exciting videos, kindly subscribe to the channel and share this channel to your friends and other family members. Thanks a lot. Keep learning because learning is fun.